Welcome into Under the Radar. Welcome into March Madness. I am Drew Martin, wagertalk.com, wagertalk YouTube, breaking it down with teams riding under the radar. Guys, usually we do bet on or teams to fade. This week it is Fade City, and that team we're looking to fade is from the Big 12, the Iowa State Cyclones, guys. Iowa State, all kinds of issues. They've played three games in March, averaging 48 points. Anytime you're averaging under 50 points in uh, pretty much a half a month, you know something's wrong there. Just recapping their point totals here the last three games, 36 points versus Oklahoma State, 68 points versus Baylor, 41 points versus Texas Tech. Yes, you heard that correct. 36 points versus Oklahoma State, a Division I college basketball team not eclipsing the 40-point mark. Guys, offensive issues all over the place. Their point guard, freshman Tyrese Hunter, turnover city here. Uh, really offensively, Iowa State has been turning the ball over at an alarming rate, almost 20% of their possessions. Now they're going up against LSU, who is the number one team in the country in terms of defensive steal percentage, turning their opponents over, an athletic defense. Look, I'm not saying LSU is going to light it up offensively by any means, but the fact is, if projecting out what's going to happen in this round one game, I'm here to say LSU is going to be turning over the Cyclones a bunch, and that a lot of the time leads to layups on the other end. So a, a freshman point guard making his first NCAA tournament game appearance I don't know. That's kind of fading itself, plus the fact they've already shown that they will turn the ball over offensively. And look, overall for Iowa State, it's kind of a profile we don't see a lot in the NCAA tournament, meaning they're just 8-12 and 12 this season. Their record, 8 wins, 12 losses since January 1st. Excuse me, January 1st. So this year, this calendar year, 8-12 and 12 since January 1st, 2022. Um, and, and normally, you know, it's teams that are winning games that make the tournament. Well, not so much with Iowa State. I mean, they only beat West Virginia by three points. They split with Oklahoma State. They're not playing good basketball. And going up against LSU, look, you can you can look at LSU and say, you know, they got all, all alarming problems all over the place. I mean, just look no further than their head coach shown the door right before the tournament. But doing a little research here, uh, their assistant coach, Kevin Nickelberry, he was actually a uh, a head coach twice, two times prior at Howard and at Hampton. He's also been an interim head coach before, 57-year-old, looks younger, actually looked pretty confident. Um, the LSU is a team 15-1 and one to start the season, playing a very difficult schedule, and they were banged up. So when a lot of the kind of the betting public is looking at the LSU Tigers, I think they're going to see uh, a lot of losses on that record. But most of those losses were without their best players. LSU, conversely to having a freshman point guard for Iowa State, has a senior point guard, one of their best players in Xavier Pinson, leading um, the, the offense there for the Bayou Bengals. Also, we get the better free throw shooting team, 73% on the year for LSU, only 68% for Iowa State. All of that leading up to, guys, fade city on Iowa State. Bet on LSU here. Looks like the number's minus four. So that's going to be the play for this week's Under the Radar. Looking to fade on Iowa State, the Cyclones. Guys, in recap of last week, it was a down week, unfortunately. 0-2, minus 2.2 units there. So a $100 better lost $220, minus 17 ATS points combined. That's how we finished against the closing line. Hey guys, it happens, you know, 0-2, it's not pretty, but uh, at the same time, we are in bounce back mode, just focusing in on one team, and that's fading Iowa State, bet on LSU. Overall recap for the show, guys, giving it all out for free right here on the Wager Talk YouTube channel. If you're liking the content, please smash that like button, 16 and 14. Hey, we're kind of treading water here, 53% up on the year, 0.6 units, you know, so $100 better is up 60 bucks. $1,000 betters up $600. So uh, not terrible yet. Hopefully we add another win this week. I like it, guys. First round of the tournament. Shout out to everybody that commented on last week's show below and uh, bounce back mode this week. So let me know if you're liking the show in the comments section on the Wager Talk YouTube channel. Reply. I'll uh, get back at you. Let me know what you're looking to bet as well. And if you agree with this play, LSU minus the four right now. We will grade it on the closing line though, guys. And uh, if you're liking the content again, please smash the like button. Check me out, wagertalk.com, guys. 5% play up and available. They've been uh, over 70% since uh, since November. So getting a little bit of a 
track record there with uh, pretty big profits. Also on a 7-1 and one college basketball run coming into the show. So getting hot at the right time. Wagertalk.com. Drew Martin, free live odd screen as well, guys. A lot of resources there. Free plays up at wagertalk.com. So I'm Drew Martin checking out from Las Vegas, Nevada. Enjoy March Madness, guys. If you're tailing, cash those tickets. Best of luck. Thanks for tuning in. Hey.